In this video you will learn how to put a border around a text box in Canva. Let's jump on in. First of all we're going to add a text to our canvas by simply pressing T on our keyboard. Next we're going to produce our text border. There are a couple of different ways to do that in Canva, but I'm just going to show you the best way, which is also the most flexible one, which a lot of people don't even know about. First press R on the keyboard to add a square to the canvas. Now with the help of these bar handles right here, you can actually transform this square into any shape you want. So we're going to use this method to transform this square into a rectangle that later on we're also going to use as our border element. First of all, let us use the bar handle here on the left side. We will simply left click and then drag it to the left. Just like that. Now we're going to do the same thing with the handle here on the right side. And just like that we transformed our square into a nice text box. Now place your mouse over this text box. Then press and hold ALT on your keyboard if you're on a PC or press and hold the OPTION key if you're on a Mac and then press and hold the left mouse button and drag down to duplicate your text box. Once you have that left click on your text box and then on top click on the color square. On the document colors then click on the transparency square which is called no color. Next on the right side click on border style and then increase the border weight. And as you can see here below, magically our border appears. And we have a perfect border because just before we remove the fill color by clicking here on the transparency square. Now things are getting very easy. If you would just like to have a simple border around our text box right here, you can then just grab this border here and move it over your text box right here. And the beauty of this method now is here that our border right here is still fully flexible because we have these bar handles all around the rectangle. And this is actually not the case if you go to elements here and choose a border from there. That's also why we didn't do that in the first place. Most border elements that you find here under elements are actually not fully customizable and miss these bar handles here on the sides. With that said, as you can see here, our border is actually a little bit too small and our text here actually even touches the border right here. That's obviously not what we want, but we can simply use this handle now and make it a little bit bigger. And then we will do the same thing here on the other side, just like that. And we can do that from the top and from the bottom here as well, because I think we should make it a little bit more narrow. So I will simply drag it down from here and I will drag it up from here as well. And just like that we created a perfect border around our text box. Now if you would like to have a border around the text box that actually has fill color, then you can obviously also use our fully customizable border element here to get the job done. So while our border element here is selected, we can simply move that one down. Let me just change the color of the border element so that you can actually see better. So once you selected the border element, on top click on border color and then on the left side you can either select a solid color or a gradient color. I'm going with this cool gradient color right here. Once you have that simply select your border element and now with our helpful handles here we can simply adjust the border to our liking just like that. And here at the bottom, on top and here on the right side it's already fitting. So now we have a lovely border around our text box. Next I'm going to click on our text right here and I will change the color to something else because we're about to drag it on top of our text box here which is black as well. So that doesn't really make a lot of sense so we have to change the color of our text right here. So with the text selected here, on top click on text color and then choose a solid color for your text, for example red. Once you have that simply left click hold and drag it onto the text box. And as our text is a little bit too big, we can use these circular handles here at the edges to make it fit our text box. Now last but not least there's also another little hack that I would like to show you because this will make things even faster for you. As you probably remember, when you press R on your keyboard, this will add a square element to the canvas. Now with these bar handles here again, we will make it the same size as our other text box. And we can now actually create a border around this element right here without using an additional border element. And the way you would do that is to left click on this box here and then on top click on border style. Then just increase the border weight right here. And this will directly create a border around our element right here. For the moment it's barely visible though because it is in black. But we can easily change the border color as well. Here's how we do it. On top click on border color. Then below either choose a solid color from here or choose a gradient color. Click on it to apply it. Just like that. Now last but not least if you would like to get more creative with your text box borders in Canva then you could also click on elements here in the left sidebar and then on top search for borders. 
To use one of these, simply click on it and it will then be added to your design. Please note that any element that you see here that has this crown symbol right here can only be used if you have a Canva Pro subscription. If you don't have a Canva Pro subscription, you can only use border elements like this one here, which doesn't have this crown icon. Another thing that you need to be aware of, as I mentioned earlier on, these border elements here come with certain restrictions. So if you choose a fully closed border like this one here for example, you will most probably have the problem that you cannot make this border fit your text at 100%. Because these borders here under elements, you cannot adjust these to any size. So even with these bar handles right here, for example if I move that to the left, you will see that this will cause some problems, for example here on top the border now is gone. And it's the same here at the bottom. And that is exactly why I highly recommend the other method that I showed you in the beginning of this video, because with that method there are no limitations at all and you can resize the border to any size. Still, if you want to get creative, have a look at these borders here under elements and you can certainly come up with some cool stuff and some cool solutions. For example, you could also grab an element like this one here and then just move that in one corner, then hover over the element and press and hold Alt or Option key on your keyboard and then drag to duplicate the element you can then rotate the element using this icon right here and you can then reposition it to the other corner. Like this you can obviously also create some really fancy and creative borders for your text, text boxes or even images in Canva. And that's actually all you need to know about how to put a border around a text box in Canva. If you enjoyed this video please make sure to smash the like button, subscribe and also make sure to watch the next video on this channel where I will show you everything about the 30 greatest Canva hacks ever that you wish you knew earlier.